Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate and today I'm going to show you how to add the old tape effect and TV interference effect to your Spark AR filter. The effect looks stylish and can help you with creating both vintage and creepy filters. But before we start, I'd like to welcome you to our Patreon. If you like my videos and these tutorials help you and you ask yourself how to support me, here is the place where you can do it. But it's not just a place where you can donate. As my patron, you have exclusive access to cool videos every month. I'm even thinking about streams where I can chat with you guys and discuss everything and we have an opportunity to know each other better. Top patrons will be mentioned in each of my videos. So if you are with me, find a link in the description and become my patron. Snap back to reality. First thing first, find any video with TV interference and download it. I found these two, one is gray and one is colorful, and I'm going to use uh, both of them. If you don't know how to download videos from YouTube, search any website uh, on Google, but use only sites which offers to download video by link. Don't use any programs because they can be dangerous. So you have downloaded videos. And your next step is to convert it to GIF. I use this site, but you may use others, doesn't matter. Choose file, I choose my video. And uh, here on this site, we have many tools. We can cut our video before we convert it. If you're good with it, just click on convert and it will be converted to GIF. All right. So we have a GIF animation here and right now we need to convert GIF to sprites. I hope you remember how we work with GIF animation and why do we need to convert it. So we can choose GIF to sprite. All right. Choose tile alignment here. And convert. All right, so here we have rows and columns. Uh, right here I have five columns because we have a uh, columns number here and six rows, but here is only one frame, so it's 26 sprites. So let's save it. And right here I already have my PNG files. They look like this. So it's our video frame by frame or sprites by sprite, sprite by sprite. All right, so it's time to create a new project. Here we go. We don't need to track face. So I go ahead and add a rectangle. Let's make it full size. Full size, good. Next step is to add a material. As I add two effects, I think I'm, it's better to rename these rectangles. All right, so now shader type is flat and texture, new animation. All right, we have new animation here. And right now we need to choose our PNG files. I select both of these files and drag and drop them to my project. Thus, uh, they are being imported. It takes a while for them to upload. All right, so next I, I recommend you to find no compression here and check it. We need to change its type to sprite sheets. Now we need to go to the sprite sheet options here and type how many rows and columns we have. All 
All right, so now we go to our animation and choose the color GIF. Yay, good. Uh, we can go to our material and change its opacity a little bit. Like this. All right. And I need another rectangle. So right click, duplicate. And I have another. I rename it to gray. Another material, create new material. Rename it to gray. Again, flat type. We need to create another animation. Right, right now I use gray gif. Whoa, whoa. It's kind of scary. Let's go to our material and change its opacity. All right. And don't forget to choose blend mode add. Although you can play with it. So now we have both rectangles work at the same time, but I want them to change by tab. To do it, I open patch editor and first of all add a screen tab patch. Next is a counter. Maximum count is two because I have only two effects and whoop, and I need two patches equals exactly one and two. All right, so here we have zero. So here we should have one. Good. And now I need to create a patch from visible from each rectangle. Click on this arrow. All right. And let's connect them like this. All right, let's restart our effect. Click here and choose simulate touch. And now we can click and now we click and our effects are changing. Okay, so if this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, subscribe. It's important. See you soon.